So, I'm not going to do a whole spiel. Um, I'm going to come on here and I'm going to come off. And the only thing I want to say, God kept putting in my spirit this morning so strong. And it ain't, it ain't just been this morning. It's been for a couple of days now. And I kept hearing God say, I'm stretching your faith. I'm stretching your faith. I'm stretching your faith. And if you look at it, that's just like if you look at y'all remember them big old brown rubber bands, right? That you use, you used to can stretch so far. It's, I'm talking about the mega ones, right? Where you can stretch them real far. You know what I'm saying? So if you look at them brown rubber bands and make them big ones, where you just can stretch them so far, right? That's how God is stretching our faith. But God is not stretching our faith to hurt us. He's stretching our faith because God wants us to trust him more. See, it's so easy to lose sight when your faith is being stretched. It's so easy to lose the purpose and the vision of why God is stretching your faith. It's, it's so easy to even become ungrateful. It's even easy to get angry and mad and upset and stressed because you don't understand why you're going through what you're going through. But when I say to you guys that if God is stretching your faith, he's stretching your faith for a reason. You're not going to always understand why God is positioning, why he's stretching your faith. And sometimes it's going to get really uncomfortable. I promise you, sometimes it's going to get very uncomfortable. And sometimes you're not going to understand why. But. If God is stretching your faith, then it's just like you take an orange, right? And you're trying to take an orange and squeeze the juice out of it into a glass. And you're trying to squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, right? And you only get so much juice, right? And that's how God is when it, when it comes to our faith. He's squeezing our faith, but it's to elevate us. It's to, it's, it's, it's to make us get to a point where we trust him more. It's to get us to a point where we see that he's there for us and that we are in his presence, that we are covered by him, that we are protected by him, that God is with us every step of the way. So a lot of times when, when our faith is being stretched, we can't see the fact that God has another avenue of how he going to bless us or how he's going to come through for us or how he's going to make something happen and, and according to how you didn't know it was going to happen. So I, the way our faith is being stretched it right now, and I, I don't know what I'm getting. All I know is that God was putting this in my spirit the last couple of days, and I decided to go ahead and do this on my YouTube channel video. But all I know is the last couple of days, God was just constantly, constantly putting it in my spirit and saying, people, faith is being stretched. So I don't know what everybody is going through. I don't even understand the depths of what's going on with everybody. But what I can say is this, is that... Our faith can be stretched, but it's not always to harm us. It's, it's, it's not even to harm us, period. It's because God wants to position us to trust him more. And that's why I say in a lot of the times in a lot of my videos, that's why I say take your time out with God. I don't care if you take, I don't care if you just get a cup of coffee or you just sit in silence on your front porch or your back porch or you just sit in a house with silence. Take your time out to be with God because that is where you're going to find him. That's where you're going to find him speaking to you. And I cannot count how many times where I sit in silence in my living room or I go on my back porch with a cup of hot chocolate and I just sit there. And I just, and it's times where I will sit there and I will talk to God about everything I'm feeling. And I, and I promise y'all this, it never fails. A lot of times, the only two words God will tell me, he'll talk to me a lot, but a lot of times, sometimes, sometimes, the only two words God will tell me is, trust me. Trust me. I don't want you to do anything else, but just trust me. But God, I don't understand why I'm going through this. Trust me, God. But God, I'm hurt. I'm broken. I don't understand this. Trust me, God. 
And sometimes those are the only words I will hear God say to me is, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. And sometimes you're not going to get a whole paragraph from God. But even if you just get those two words from God, where he says to you, trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Then it's for a greater reason. It's for a greater purpose. And though you may not understand it right now, God is telling you to trust him. It's for something that's going to be for your good. It's times where I be like, I talk to God a lot about my children. And I promise y'all this, and because I, I wear, I, I just, I'm the type of parent where I wear a lot about my children. And a lot of times, the only thing I hear God say 